these people who work in the shadows are trying to establish a new world order, just like Hitler envisioned. Ein Volk, ein Reich, ein Führer. One world, one race, and one ruler. A new world order upon the ashes of all people and all sovereignty of all nations for all time. Brian, you were a lieutenant commander in the British Navy, is this correct? That's correct. You were in charge of a particular vessel? HMS Orkney, which was an offshore protection vessel. But my main expertise was um, anti-submarine warfare. In the past few hours, we have seen the abolition of the British Isles as a, as a sovereign nation. How does this hit you and is it not in fact the successful end to nation status as would have happened had it been under Adolf Hitler? You've given me several questions there. Firstly I'm not shocked because I'm one of a number of people, including yourself, who's been watching this come for a number of years. We have seen the, the beast break surface, so this is something that many people knew was coming, but a relatively f few compared to the population as a whole, but we knew this was coming, and now it's broken surface and we can see it. Well, are, are, it, the, are the British people so damned dumb? Are they so zombieized? that they could not see this happening and once having seen it happen and it's in the front page of the newspapers hmm. why haven't they reacted to the surrender of their nation to a Hitlerian super state through the European Union which is exactly what Adolf Hitler envisioned in his book The World Order well, pe people haven't seen this because they have been deliberately dumbed down by an ongoing propaganda campaign, and I believe that that propaganda, that socio-political uh, attack on people has been occurring since the end of the Second World War. I can probably s sum it up quite nicely with, a, with, a, with my father, who's 90 years old, and he said to me a little while ago, did I think that people in this country had changed? because he said they, they've lost their humour, they've lost their willingness to stand up for their rights. They don't seem bothered about what's happening around them. And he said, did, did I think they changed? And my answer to him was no, they haven't changed, they have been changed. They have been deliberately changed by a socio-political economic attack. And that attack has been waged on the people of this country since the end of the Second World War, and it's, it has been designed to dumb them down. The overall program is, is very clearly illustrated in a matrix at the front of a, a book by Christopher Storey called the, the EU Collective, Enemy of Its Member States. Now, as I have gone around and talked to people in this island nation state, I see a lack of understanding of what freedom really is. They seem to have accepted what in the United States would be unacceptable. They seem to tolerate those things which would be intolerable. 
I know that the Brits have been conditioned, but it's almost to the point of zombieization. Why? Well, I'm, I'm just going to stick with the same argument that um, you are looking at uh, generations now of, of, of British who have been subject to this, this propaganda machine which has gradually narrowed their understanding of what freedom is into, the, into a limited window as defined by pure propaganda coming through the BBC or the, uh, or the uh, so-called corporate uh, TV channels and newspapers but they haven't been reading the truth, they've been reading an increasingly narrowed um, explanation as, as to what freedom is. In Britain I see a lack of understanding of what freedom is. Uh, George Orwell talked about lies being the truth, truth being lies. A complete total distortion. And Orwell wrote his book within the confines of the BBC. How does all of this come into being? We've got to go back in history to start to understand what, what has actually brought us to the condition where we've got people who, who are acting as zombies at the moment. What I believe when I look back is that for Britain the war affected the whole of our society. It wasn't like America where people in the more um, in the, the hinterland of the country weren't affected by the fighting but for Britain it affected the whole nation so the the moment the Second World War was over people felt that freedom was the ability to do as they pleased and to enjoy themselves to be fit to be free of the fear of the fighting and dying or being injured was freedom and therefore they were happy to still accept many of them a very austere life and that was freedom to them now in america many people never had constraints on them through the war so they continued to understand in america that what real freedom was the ability to be able to speak your mind to eat the food and the quality of food that you want and also to have employment and to have your children educated in, in a way that you wanted so all that was possible particularly in America. In UK, the austerity of the post-war period meant that people were inherently constrained. What happened on top of that was that a propaganda program was implemented to capture people's minds and to tunnel them into a very constrained vision of freedom whilst their freedoms were stripped away. Now, we can the evidence for this is overwhelming. It is well reported. In America, in 1963, in the congressional record, it was recorded by one of the United States senators that the US was starting to come under attack by a Marxist program. And the record, which is there for all Americans to see, clearly set out what was to be done. Children's education was to be, to be dumbed down. Um, basically women were to be, if you like, attacked in society in as much as their role was to be brought into conflict with the role of men and this is where the feminist angle comes from. Um, the church was to be attacked in an extremely big way because Christianity was to be destroyed. Politicians were to be ridiculed and undermined and the national institutions were to be infiltrated with a view to slowly confusing and collapsing them. Isn't that exactly what has happened here in the, the UK? Absolutely, and this is one of my key points, that if you look for the evidence in history, it is all there, because if we come to the UK, we can see that exactly the same pattern has been 